Hello, everyone. I am Haley Schwacki, a master's student in veterinary medicine, and today I will be talking about my project, Improving the Efficacy of Vaccination Against Mycoplasma Hyosinovae by Identifying Optimal Vaccination Times. Mycoplasmas are a unique bacteria family that lack cell walls. Mycoplasma hyosinovae specifically was discovered by Ross and Carmen in 1970, and they decided on the name hyosinovae because it affects specific joints. So what is Mycoplasma hyosinovae? Mycoplasma hyosinovae is a commensal bacterium. Although it is considered a commensal, it can cause disease. And as a result, Mycoplasma hyosinovae associated lameness is the most common clinical sign that can occur in growing and finishing pigs older than eight weeks of age. Lameness in pigs is a large wel welfare concern. We all want our pigs happy, healthy, and pain-free. Lameness in pigs can also lead to secondary issues later in production, whether that be breeding or market animals. As a literature review, it is common to detect the presence of this commensal bacterium, but it can be difficult to detect the rate of infection caused from disease within the field. And unfortunately, overall as a whole, there is limited published research, so many questions remain unknown. Currently, antibiotics are used to treat lameness in these pigs. Lincomycin, tetracyclines, tylosin are a few examples. However, our objective is evaluating the use of an autogenous, autogenous vaccine to prevent and control Mycoplasma hyosinovae associated lameness from occurring. We will have numerous age groups separated into eight different treatment groups, with a total of approximately 12,000 pigs to be enrolled. We will start by separating the dams into two different treatment groups, vaccinated and unvaccinated. Then the focus will move to their piglets. 12 piglets from every litter will be enrolled. These 12 piglets will be allocated into four different treatment groups. Non-vaccinated is our control group, vaccinated at one and three weeks of age, vaccinated at three and five weeks of age, and vaccinated at 10 and eight and 10 weeks of age. The sow farm that we are conducting this study is a farrow to wean operation. So wean piglets leave the farm and enter different nursery sites. This is common in the swine industry, but these wean piglets specifically will be sent to different sites ran by numerous producers and will account for diverse environmental settings. We will look at numerous outcomes within this study, lameness, individual weights, any antibiotic treatments, mortality, detection by PCR, and also Mycoplasma hyosinovae antibodies. First, looking at the antibody testing, we will take blood samples and use a specific Mycoplasma hyosinovae ELISA test to detect IgG levels. Then we will take tonsillar swabs to detect Mycoplasma hyosinovae through PCR testing. And our overall biggest outcome of interest is decreasing lameness. Therefore, we will be scoring the pigs with a lameness scoring method to show any significant findings later in our analysis. In conclusion, we want to overall improve the welfare of growing and finishing pigs for healthy and more efficient pork products. Thank you to the numerous collaborators on this project and thank you all for your attention.